Hello there. I'm back in the desert temple in the desert north of my base. I've just spent the night here after uh, spending yesterday digging up an awful lot of sand and uh, generally having, been having a bit of a poke around. Uh, today I'm going to, if I can just get my bearings, there we are, I was going to head towards the uh, plains area beyond the desert and see if I could find a village or two. I'm going to have to dodge quite a lot of cockatrice and harpies to get there, I, ima I imagine. Deserts are not particularly safe. It's been rather a massive uh, couple of days for big mod updates. Uh, this rather natty looking hive over here is from Magic Bees, which is the new name for Thormic Bees. And it's added all sort of, it's added a lot of extra stuff, including some uh, new world gen, though luckily it's retroactive. Adding uh, adding and updating mods to an already existing world is a bit of a bit of a tricky oh uh, uh, get off I am not dying there uh, I better have something to eat <sighs> right yes let's not die in the first five minutes if you can avoid it um. What was I saying before that cockatrice went and stuck its oar in? Oh yes, updating is a updating for an existing world is a tricky business, but I think I've got it all working right. Mistcraft has just released a uh, 1.52 version, so I've got that running. The uh, major new version of uh, Biomes of Plenty, with which has uh, things for the Nether uh, as well as the Overworld. Although of course I only have uh, I only have basic biomes in my Overworld. They will turn up in Mistcraft. Well, let's see. Is this a... Uh, well, it doesn't seem particularly defended. Ah, oh, but it is an Ars Magica tower. So if I just get rid of this... Everything should be okay. It's rather a nice tower, actually. I might take it home with me. Add it to my... Uh, add it to my the village I'm planning. It looks like somebody's been going around breaking windows. Uh, let's see what's in here. Right. Oh, Ice Rune. That's quite nice. Let's, uh... Ah! What's... Ah! Oh, I didn't want this tower anyway. Um... How did that even happen? That was a... An explosive chest? Uh, oh, well, maybe it was on a piston. I don't know. It's a bit hard. I can't really examine the mechanisms now. That's, um... Unfortunate. Well, I'll have this plant pot. If he's going to be like that, who puts a bomb? Who puts a bomb in your own house? I mean, I can understand a certain amount. Of, you know, I can understand security, but now if you get burgled, you 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 get burgled and your house is blown up. This does not seem to me to be an improvement on the situation. But, uh, oh hello, uh, don't panic. He is friendly. This is a farlander. Uh, to be precise, a Farlander Wanderer, and he's he's willing to trade, but I don't want gold leggings, and I don't have uh, emeralds or rubies. Farlanders mostly use rubies as their uh, trade currency. So, but anyway, uh, once I head into the plains, things should get a lot safer. Uh, over here, we've got centaurs. Under the current version of Grimoire of Gaia, they're uh, quite peaceful. As long as you don't start poking them, and, and then then they will turn very nasty and fill you full of arrows. Previous versions of Grimoire of Gaia, they would uh, they would just attack, but now they don't. Planes are comparatively safe in the day. At night, you'll get uh, all the monsters you'd expect. Uh, this is a giraffe from uh, Project Zulu. Nice little fella. So, uh, maybe I should seek higher ground, because planes are the best place, uh, in my build, to find villages. That's not a village, that's just some ruins over there. Oh, no, there we are. There's a village. Splendid. Let's, let's run over there, not getting sick, not getting killed. I have high hopes for this village. I'm. I really need it, need it to have an apiarist, or at least an apiarist building, so I can yoink the uh, beehives. Uh, 
I will show you how to make the the uh, the very first simple beehives, but they don't do an awful lot. So it's better if you can to track a village down and uh, steal the ones here. Uh, let's see who's around. There's a few sorts of crop you can only get uh, in villages. Well, you can find the seeds in dungeons and things as well. But uh, if I can find some carrots and potatoes, that'd be brilliant. Um, so let's see who's around. There's a forge. Let's. Uh, oh, a chest. Although I don't have any space. There is a lot of good things in there. Um, thorns and a pile of ashes. I'm not sure what they do. But the rubber that's a rubber tree sapling. And that is for Industrial Craft 2. Um, you can, if I plant that, I'll be able to tap it for rubber. Which will be really, really useful. Uh, what I'm going to try and do... And I did bring this around along just in case. Is a little bit of wizardry. If I if I take the skeleton skull and say hocus pocus, alakazoo, ah oh, come on, there we go, and the chest it has come to life. Uh, does it still? Yes, it does still have the stuff inside. I was mildly concerned just as I did that that it might have might might delete the stuff. Um, and then I think if I right, if I shift right click it, there we go, pops up on its little legs, and now it'll follow me around. Just like a wolf, uh, and it should teleport as well, so it won't get won't get lost. Uh, are you coming, little little chest? Yes, you are. Oh, how adorable! Well, I'm just going to stick all my other bits and bobs in here uh, quickly, and I'll memorise this spell while I'm about it. Ice rune. Um, right, I should have enough uh, space now to ostrich eggs. Um, enough space now to plunder the place. Uh, so let's learn that spell. Ice Rune, I will have a play with that later. Let's see what else is around. Who are you? Oh, you're an apiarist. And you you buy princesses for an emerald. That's actually really good. Um, cotton seeds. I don't know what they're doing there. Put the seeds all over the place. You're, you sell... A lot of these villagers, the vanilla villagers, are mostly going to be using coins rather than emeralds for their trades. That's because of metal Metallurgy 3. Uh, changes them. You can mint coins uh, using precious metals. But I don't have any uh, coins or emeralds, so uh, that's not going to happen. Let's see what's going on in here. We have an apiary. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, that's one of the bee hives is doing that to me. Uh, I'm going to... Let's just get in close. Yes, there's a tropical queen. Uh, the common queen... Uh, they're both in the process of doing their bee thing at the moment, so I need to let that run its course and then I'll be able to take uh, some new princesses ow 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 ow, it's a good thing, good thing poison doesn't kill you ah yeah that's the jungle, tropical uh, bees are sort of related to jungle bees and they, they will they will do you unless you're wearing protective gear ah uh, that hurt quite a lot but I am regenning uh, hello, who are you? You sell leather pants for 27 coins? That sounds terribly expensive for leather pants, but I'm not entirely sure what the exchange rate is. Um, what's up here? Ah, uh, uh, these look like what... Ah, uh, here we are. These are carrots. I will take those home with me. Um, I wonder if there's any taters anywhere. Paul Tate. Um, that might be a great wood tree. I don't need great wood at the moment, but that's worth knowing you about. Uh, let's have a little peek in here. I think this is a church. There's various village buildings that can appear with degrees of commonality. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, hello, Centaur. Uh, is that snake attacking me? No, but I don't like the look of it. Um, ah, Titus. There we are. Uh, let's not do that. There we are. Oh, what am I doing? 
I am being inept. There we are. Potatoes. And uh, you can you just they don't have seeds, you just plant the carrot or the potato back in the ground. I will not pillage all their food supply. I'm probably going to steal these entire farms at some point. Uh that might be Is that a skeleton? It is a skeleton. What are you doing? Get out of here. This is my my village. Uh looks like this building got chopped in half by um, possibly this farm. Villages do tend to spawn rather strangely. Uh, that's even before you start adding mods to the mix. But uh, mods just sort of... Uh, because they place often place their own buildings as well. You do occasionally get the occasional... Um, occasional... Occasionally... Occasional... Uh, you do uh, sometimes get some slight accidents. Uh, right. Let's check on those bees. That's that's. Oh well, that was silly. <laughs> oh, he can get out. No, he can't. Oh dear, poor fellow. Um, didn't like him anyway. Uh, let's see. No, this ah uh, this bee can't this bee can't uh, work anyway because there's no um, tropical flowers. So I will just steal all that. And let's check on the common bee. Ah, uh, the common bee is now finished. So wh where's my chest gone? You're over there. So I will stick the tropical bee in there. I think the tropical bee is quite rare. That's quite a find. Um, so and the frames will come in handy. So honeycomb, regular honeycomb, common drone, swamp drone, common princess. I think I need to remember about all these. I need to put these in a special box because these are all hybrids. Um, which is going to get... because I'm going to have to keep track of, of some rather compl complex Mendelian genetics uh, presently. Uh, so, now we just bash up the hives and I can take them home with me. And there's some nice little flowers there as well. Uh, I might... yeah, why not? I will just steal everything. I'm not sure I'll, uh, how many of these I'm going to be able to um, breed. Probably none of them. Uh, where are you, chest? There you are. What? What is that? Oh, it's a giraffe. I thought it was, I thought it was the top half of a creeper. Uh, getting my chest to behave is... is heal, heal. Glow flower. So what are those? Violets. Uh, swamp flower. I think I can make purple dye out of those violets. So that might happen. Uh okay with that, it's pretty well plundered. And that's about uh, all I've got time for, I think, today. Uh, me and my little friend will probably hole up here for the night. Uh, where is he? Oh, I should mention, this chest, this uh, chest golem, is from Father Toast's utility mobs. Uh, you can put that uh, a skeleton skull on quite a range of uh, different blocks. Uh, vanilla blocks like furnaces, um... It escapes me what else you can do, but there's about six of them. And uh, I think probably this one's the most useful, though. I don't really see the need for uh, a walking furnace. This I do like this fellow. But yes, we're going to hole up here for the night and then m try and make it home in one piece. Uh, this village will one day be mine. I I'm going to let this centaur out of, out of there because... Oh! Oh, uh, that quite hurt. Um, I think I just got blindsided by a creeper. Sorry about the mess, chaps. Um, never mind. Uh, yes, I am gonna. That's what happens when I try and do try and do nice things. Oh, hello. I think that fellow's trying to kill me. Um, that's a minotaurus. I think that's actually aggressive. So I'm not gonna let them out. I'm gonna leave them leave them right where they are. Um. <laughs> Oh, it's never simple as this. But yes, I will. Uh, I've now got everything I need to begin bee breeding. Uh, so tomorrow, bee and tree breeding. Tomorrow, that is on the cards. So I'll see you then. Hope you had fun. Take care.